come here. Come on. Oh, snap. <laughs> Let's go, Holly. Let's go, Holly. today's video so I am Midi if you are new here welcome to my channel um, today we are doing a vlog I am at my sister's house my sister Abby's house here in Albuquerque and we are having a baby shower for her um, if you follow me and are subscribed you might be thinking didn't you guys just have one for her and yes the answer is yes it was a surprise baby shower and uh, she had already planned this one and so it just so happened that she gets two baby showers but the last baby shower, it was just, you know, it was co-ed and this baby shower is just girls, so. So anyways, I came by myself. Currently, I am straightening my hair and I wanted to show you guys a new hair straightener that I got. And actually, Duval sent me this straightener and it's awesome. I love it because it has um, ceramic plates and then it has different temperature levels. I don't know if you guys can tell but it goes all the way up to 450 degrees. So it's pretty nice. It has ceramic plates, so I really like that because it damages your hair less and it works really good. So let me show you guys how it works. My hair is usually straight anyways, but I just wanted to go over it. I'm getting ready because people are gonna start showing up for the baby shower here in a little bit. And you guys, I'm, I have to tell you guys something super like blonde that happened to me i bought everything right and usually i overpack so this time i'm like okay i'm not gonna overpack this time i'm only here for a few days and that was that but guess what i actually forgot my makeup so i had to borrow my sister abby's makeup i know i look funny so just don't mind that so anyways i had to borrow my sister abby's makeup and as you guys may or may not know she's like 10 tones lighter than i am so i probably look a little pasty but Hey, it works <laughs> so you can see how straight my hair is looking on this side I love it it's super easy to use Duval actually gave me a 70% off coupon for you guys or a discount code so I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the screen or in the description box so that you guys can get yourself a flat iron like this one I don't know I think it's like a really special time for me um, my first boy so Thank you guys so much for coming. It means a lot to me. Cry. <laughs> and I was like, probably nobody will come. It'll just be five. So I'm glad that like everybody that I told to come are here. So thank you, and let's go ahead and pray so we can eat. Okay. I just can't get over. Let's go. <laughs> Jeez, he's too Come big. Sit, sit, stay. Good boy. Hello. Hello. Um, can we do two transactions, please, for this order? Yeah, for sure. You just gotta let me know when one starts and the other one ends, okay? Okay, sounds good. So What's on the first order? Um, for the first one, I'm gonna do a tall pumpkin cream cold brew. A tall pumpkin cream cold brew? Yes, please. For sure. What else can I get for you? Thank you. Thank you. Uh, and if you need a treat for Co-Commander Fuzzbud over there? Yes, please. Most definitely. <laughs> uh, Ollie! <laughs> I never heard that one before. Thank you. Ollie, are you well? Get back. Awesome. Well, and we're all set there, guys. Thank you. You have a great rest of your day. You too. Thanks. Thanks. This is not crazy. What did you get? I got... A uh, pumpkin cream cold brew. Mm. Mm. How is it? Well, it has a lot of foam. Mm. The foam's good. <laughs> <laughs> I know, that's my favorite part. Let's get a video of this deer. You guys, look at what I found in my backyard. <laughs> the deer love our backyard for whatever reason. He is beautiful. Oh, don't be scared. I'm leaving you alone. Okay, bye.
guys what's up so it has been like five days since i last vlog and i'm so sorry about that you guys um it's been terrible you guys so i had planned to vlog that weekend right after like the baby shower and everything like that but i got so sick on my when i whenever i was in albuquerque and then coming back i got even more sick on monday i like tried to push through it and then i couldn't so i had to take the day off tuesday and I have had a headache, a really bad headache and a lot of pressure in my head ever since. But today is the first day without a headache and so I decided to vlog for you guys. Um, you guys probably didn't even or wouldn't have even noticed because I stopped vlogging but it's all in one video. So uh, um, yeah, I just thought I would explain that really quick. But anyways, moving on, I was going to show you guys some outfits that I have for the fall. Some of you guys have wanted me to show you guys um, my fall outfits and fashion and stuff like that. And I've been super into fashion. So I just bought myself a clothes rack. Well, not just. I've had it for like three weeks now and it has been amazing, you guys. So I've been putting my outfits there um, the week or like a, the Sunday before um work so i have all my outfits set out for the week and it has been so good so i wanted to show you guys these are staple pieces and they're um just super easy outfits that you can put together for the fall so i hope that you guys enjoy it all right guys so this is a closer look of what these outfits look like and i'm gonna try them on for you guys so you guys will be able to see what they look like on but this is what we are working with um i have a few pair of boots and some white shoes and just again staple pieces that's super easy to put together so this is what my clothes rack looks like i will go ahead and link it down below for you guys because it was only 50 dollars so I thought I did really good and I also got these hangers as well. Alright guys, so here is the first outfit. Um, I have some black leggings from Fabletics. You can use any black leggings, super easy to make this outfit. I have these Reebok shoes, um, they're white, I love them. And then I have this Old Navy long sleeve shirt. It was really cheap, so I'm going to try to link those down below, as many as I can. And then I have this vest from um, Nike. Then I'm pairing it with this Adidas hat and some sunglasses. But yeah, super cute outfit, very comfortable, and I really like it. So here is the next outfit. This is probably one of my favorites. Um, I got this uh, loose sleeve cardigan from Target. It's very affordable, super cute. I got, I have this little uh, fedora from, I got it for my birthday from my friends. So. I'm gonna try to find it. I think it's from Amazon. These jeans are from American Eagle. The top is from Old Navy. And then I just um, threw on a long um, necklace. <laughs> and I think it looks really good. I would probably wear this off the shoulder like this unless I was going to work. And if I was going to work, I would just do jeans that were, you know, like solid jeans, no rips, nothing like that. So yeah, I love this outfit so much. And it's very, um, it's an outfit that you can put together like super quick. And also these little shoes I got, I love them. They're so fun. I got them from my friend's mom and they are from Maurice's. I'm not sure if they make them anymore. This is the next outfit and I really like this outfit. I love this color of jacket. It just goes so well with everything in the fall. And this um, shirt, I forgot where I got this jacket from. I think it was JCPenney a long time ago. I'm not sure, honestly, but um, this shirt I got from American Eagle. My sister Abby actually stained it. I don't know if you can tell. So I have to figure out a way to like take the stain out so I can wear it. <laughs> I have worn it a couple of times, but I'm just like very self-conscious about the stain. But um, yeah, and then I'm wearing these chunky boots. I don't know if you guys could tell. Um, the chunky heel boot, I love them. They are so comfortable and then I'm also wearing this headband this one I got from from Old Navy I got it for like ten dollars so it's a, it was a little pricey but it's really comfy and it doesn't hurt the back of your ears like other headbands so this next outfit is one of those classic full outfits that everyone wears um, we have the beanie I believe I got this beanie from Aeropostale I like hardly ever shop there but I really like this beanie I like the pom-pom it was only like ten dollars and then this plaid shirt I got from American Eagle. And then I got these boots from um, Amazon. So I was on the search to find um, boots kind of like this. I didn't expect for them to be this dark. So I'm not completely sure if I like them all that much. But they do make an outfit look pretty cute. And this is what it looks like. 
this is what it looks like from the back so they're pretty long which I like and then they kind of flare out a little bit right here so it just gives you more of like an edgy look this next outfit is super comfy so I have a Levi's oversized sweater I love it so it actually goes down like this but since I was gonna wear a jacket um, jean jacket I thought it would just be it would just look better like this but it's very simple to put together you just need an oversized jacket and then you pull the sleeves out from the jacket so that you can see it and you still look put together um, just throw a hat on you know if you want to be lazy or whatever and then I'm wearing I'm pairing this with the Reebok shoes again that I showed you guys earlier I got this jacket from Target I believe it was like $30 oh no I think it was on sale actually for like $23 I forgot but it's really pretty I did get it in a size medium because I thought the small one was a little too small like it just fit a little too tight and I like my um, jean jackets to be a little bigger if you know what I mean and this sweater I got from the Levi's store and obviously my hat is from um, Adidas but I did get it at Dick's Sporting Good online so it was like $25 I believe so it was a little pricey but it's super cute and it goes really well with a bunch of outfits because it's neutral. Okay guys, I promise I'm almost done, but this is probably like the second to last outfit that I'm going to try on for you guys. I could try clothes on like all day, but I'm not going to bore you guys. So this little outfit is put together by Shein. So I love this little cardigan. It has a hood and it just makes everything look so cute. So I like the fact that it has pockets and a drawstring as well. And then this dress is from TJ Maxx. It was like $13, literally. These are the same boots I tried on earlier and the fedora. So, and then I also paired it with a feather necklace. Finally, this is the last outfit. So this is just like a loungewear from Target uh, loungewear set from Target. I really like it because it's cheetah print and I've been into cheetah print for some reason lately which I told myself that I never would um, wear any cheetah print and here I am. So it's super comfy. It has pockets. It has a drawstring. Um, I did expect the top to be a little bit like more cropped so I might like crop it a little bit more because I feel like it would be a little bit a little more like Mm, flattering if I cropped it just a little bit more and the um, these sweats are a little bit long and I'm like super short I'm 5'2 so um, I don't like that they kind of just like sag at the bottom like this but it is super comfy and I love it okay guys so I'm finally done with the clothing haul that took way longer than I thought it would but I'm so happy that I finally got to film it for you guys some of you guys have been asking me and I wanted to come through for you guys so I hope that you guys enjoyed it I have been into fashion lately like no other like I have always appreciated and loved fashion but lately I don't know what it is I've just been more into fashion and so I just love putting outfits together I recently started um following the like to know it app and I follow a bunch of people there and get inspired by them but anyways you guys before um I end this video I did want to talk to you guys about something that I have been struggling with and I know it's not I know I'm not the only one struggling with this um and so I wanted to talk about it something that I've been struggling with is comparing myself to others I feel like I tend to put myself down a lot and I tend I tend to like just pick out my insecurities and just um, create this like image of myself that's definitely not true but like you know I just put myself down and start thinking negative thoughts and um, not like extreme negative thoughts but like enough to you know make me um, realize like hey I need to stop and something that has been helping me is just like reminding myself that God has me here in this season of life for a reason. I was thinking about it the other time and sometimes I think like geez if I was if I was still married like maybe I would have a kid by now or like I would like imagine if I was still married like why can't I be married I'm still single I don't have kids and um, my time is like passing me by and stuff like that and just like thinking all these negative thoughts negative thoughts and then comparing myself to other people in um, my social media and other youtubers and influencers and stuff like that and it's like I know God has me for here for a reason and I know I need to be happy where I am in life but sometimes it's so frustrating um, to just like not compare yourself to others because we are 
obviously like social media does that to you and um, something that you have to remember is that um, you have to be okay with where you are and you can't compare your life to others because they're not even if it looks amazing from the outside like they're probably struggling or going through really deep personal stuff and um sometimes instagram does that to you like you look at their highlight reel and it everything looks perfect they have the perfect husband the perfect kids the perfect life you know they travel and that's the kind of people i like to compare myself to and it's just very hurtful it can be very hurtful for me for um my image but also i can just um, start portraying this idea of like me wanting to pretty much just coveting coveting someone else's life and that's a sin and the bible says it's a sin and i know god made me the way i am for a reason so i just encourage you guys if you guys are going through that just know that you're not alone but also know that you are beautiful that god made you the way you are for a reason and that you're not supposed to um compare yourself to anyone else um, other than yourself you can compare yourself uh, where you started and where you are now just know that God made you to be um, who you are and he has you at the right season in life and it is just a season so just know that if you are not happy or if you're sad just lean on God pray about it and um, just ask him to help you through it because um, I know it's really hard, especially because it takes time. It takes time to get through things like this. So yeah, I hope that is encouraging for you guys. I know that's kind of a lot, but that's just my, those are just my thoughts. Um, I love you guys so much. Thank you guys for watching and until next time, God bless you and remember that you are beautiful, you are valued, and you are loved. See ya! When it feels like I've been fading to the background Don't leave my room for like a week, don't wanna go out But all these moments keep reminding me of just how Just how you can't have the highs without the letdowns